hello everyone welcome to another youtube video on the code angle youtube channel and in today's video we will be looking at the top seven platforms to learn web development for free in 2021 so i know a lot of people are brand new to web development and there's always a lot of questions around the kind of platform they should learn web development especially if it's going to be an unpaid platform so because of this i've decided to put together a list of seven platforms i think could be very very helpful for beginners out there so here are the list of the platforms i'll be looking at in detail i'll be starting with um, youtube khan academy edx w3 school the odin project mdn web docs and free code camp so stay tuned as we delve deep into each of these platform so getting started with youtube youtube began as far back as um 2005 and has been rapidly growing since then um a lot of people around the world upload something of um, around 300 hours worth of videos on youtube every minute so youtube has the second largest um search engine in the world behind google which is also owned by youtube so that means people are constantly searching for information on youtube and discovering information on topics such as business fashion movies and tv and youtube uh, gaming channels um, a lot of channels are out there so one of the best ways to learn to code without spending any money is by subscribing to youtube channels and then here on the screen i have a list of youtube channels where i think topics where you get to learn a lot of technologies for free technologies such as html css javascript programming so languages like python java how to make websites how to create projects how to build a lot of things i think these channels cover a lot of them and let's take a look at some of these channels for instance tyler moore focuses on content around them um, how to create websites with wordpress the design course owned by uh guy simon focuses on ux ui design how to make your interface uh, better and he also makes use of design the uh, technology such as um, adobe xd and the likes i'm not really into design so if you are really into design i think this is the place for you to go and then brad travis he focuses on uh, using python frameworks and libraries such as react angular view ruby on rails and the likes you will find them all on this channel and they are all for free at number six we have khan academy khan academy is a non-profit educational organization that provides free video tutorial and interactive exercises it was created in 2008 the mission of Khan Academy is changing education for the better by providing a world-class education to anyone, anywhere. So in Khan Academy, you have access to an array of topics such as economics, physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, finance, history, and a lot more. So also on Khan Academy is access to computer programming materials. So when you go to the website on the navbar you have a drop down and when you click on computer programming it's going to bring out um the list of um courses they have because it's um focused mostly on front-end technologies like um html css javascript advanced uh, javascript we also have sql so if you are new to web development i think this may go be a good place for you to start there is there are topics you might find interesting here so definitely do check out khan academy and it's all free it's what's it called it's a non-profit educational platform so at number five is edx so edx is a massive open online course provider created by harvard and mit it was founded in may of 2012 edx as around 33 million students taking more than 3,000 courses online eds also has over 6,000 instructors on the platform with a presence of 196 countries represented 
worldwide so when it comes to pricing verified courses on the edx platform ranges from 50 us dollars and go all the way to 300 us dollars so that's a lot of money but there is a way around this you can choose to kind of audit a course of your choice this means you'll be able to have access and learn the course materials for free but you're not going to receive a certificate of completion afterwards now but the thing is when it comes to the programming world a certificate is not really required i don't think organizations uh, require certificates for you to apply for jobs so all you need is your work experience and the project you've worked on so that's why i believe it's a platform where you can learn a web development for free so when you go on the edx website you can search for any topic you want to learn on programming for instance let's try to search for web development so if i type web development we are going to get a list of courses on the eds platform yeah as you can see we have something on front end web development we have something on computer science we have introduction to cloud development we have a lot of courses CSX basis we have so many courses here so if i also search for something like more specific for instance like javascript so we get a lot of javascript courses programming for the web with javascript introduction to javascript so do well to check out this platform if you are looking for a free resource so remember all you have to do is just audit the course and then you have access to it for free so at number four we have w3 schools w3 schools has been around for a long time it was created in fact in 1998 w3 school is a training website for learning web technologies online content covered on this platform includes topics such as html css javascript php python sql or sql we have node.js ajax xml raspberry pi c plus plus c sharp and java so the way this website works is you have an online code editor where you can edit examples and execute computer code experimentally to see what works and what doesn't work before implementing it for instance when you go to the website you have a landing page and then let's say for instance you are new to development and you want to learn html if i click on this um uh, button it takes me to the page and on the left side menu we can see the list of topics covered on html so the way it works is let's see for this page let's click on this try it yourself button it's going to open on another tab on the browser so this is displaying two elements an h1 tag saying this is a heading and a p tag showing a paragraph saying this is a paragraph so what we can do is if i change this heading to let me see what can i change it to this is not a heading let's not a heading so just like um, it works on uh, your uh, uh, your code editor in your on your computer if i click on the run so we can see it displays um this is not a heading on the results page of the code editor so this is you practice on this platform you make changes then you click on the run then you can see the changes you made implemented on the results tab of the screen also you should be aware that um, at the end of each each examples you are likely to have an exercise for instance this html has an exercise at the ending so it says we should um, add a two tip to the paragraph below so i think one of the two tips we can add is title let's see what happens if i add a title and then i submit okay it opens a new tab and it asks me to submit the answer let's submit the answer and see if it's correct oh it is oh so you can play around with the, with the exercise i think we have four exercises here but we're not going to do that in this video so lastly on this platform you should be aware that you have access to certificate i think the certificates are mostly bought so but i don't think you need them i don't think you need the certificates i don't think any uh, company is going to ask you to attach your certificates to your cv but if you like to support the platform you can go ahead and buy the certificate 
so but apart from that everything else on this platform is completely free i recommend it greatly they are very good information on this platform at number three we have the odin project the odin project was founded in 2013 the odin project provides a free open source coding curriculum that can be taken entirely online you have free access to topics such as html css javascript git ruby ruby on rails node.js and much more so when we go to the the odin project and website on the landing page we can see if you scroll down the list the array of topics we have available but what i'll suggest is um for us to go to the view full curriculum button when you click here you'll be directed to a much more structured page where you have a foundations part, you have a full stack Ruby on Rails part, and you have a full stack JavaScript part. If you click on the full stack and um, the foundations part, you have 32 lessons in this part. So this is where I would suggest any beginner to begin with. Then after you complete that part, you can then decide between the full stack Ruby on Rails parts or the full stack JavaScript part. So let's just take a look at one of them, uh, which is the full stack JavaScript part. In here we have courses on javascript we have courses on html and css and also on node.js which is a javascript runtime environment so if you have a good knowledge of these technologies you can be considered as a full stack developer so please if you are looking for resources on free free software development um, platforms i think this is one you should look at at number two we have the mdn web docs so the mdn web docs previously known as Mozilla Developer Network and formerly Mozilla Developer Center is a documentation repository for web developers. It was launched in 2005 by Mozilla and it is a free resource for in-depth documentation on web standards such as HTML5, CSS, JavaScript and much more. Over the years, MDN have built a reputation for having some of the best documentations for web technologies. So let's actually take a look at this platform. So on the landing page, we have a menu consisting of technologies, reference guides, and feedback. So on the technologies, we have a drop down containing the list of um, technologies um, they have tutorials on. So on the reference guide, it gives more in-depth explanation on those technologies and on the feedback, depending on if you also contribute to MDN. So you can just try to check that out. So, I, I was just gonna I'll, I'll show you how this platform works let's try it out with html so on the html page we have a documentation that explains almost everything about html so how it works is you you check out this um sidebar and then you follow the the platform the list as it's arranged so let's play around with one of them so if i click on this input type button it takes us to a new page a page that has an interactive code editor so if i decide to adjust this let's say i remove the s in this favorite it actually changes in real time so it's a very very interactive platform too so if i decide to reset it i think it's it will go back to the previous state so another thing you should know is if you get stuck on something i think this documentation is something you can always uh, come back to check and because it gives a very very good explanation on a lot of topics so do well to check it out i know it's very popular out there so if you have not heard of it i think it's a very good platform to learn web development so at number one is free code camp so free code camp is a non-profit organization it consists of an interactive learning web platform and online community forum chat rooms online publications and local organizations that intend to make learning web development accessible to anyone on the internet it was launched in october 2014 and founded by quincy larson so when we go to the free code camp um, website on the landing page we have a navbar let's go to the curriculum that's where we have the list of all the courses available they are all free and they cover a lot of technologies for instance we have coverage on technologies like responsive web design javascript algorithms and data structures we have apis and microservices data analysis with python and a lot more you can do well to check it out i think it's one of the most interactive if not the most interactive um, platform out there what do i mean by this so what you do is depending on what you want to take let's play around with the responsive web design so if 
you click on that we have a drop down of all the challenges you can take so let's try out the one of the challenges let's try out this one it says we should write i think um, hello world on the page so let's try it out by typing world and then i run this test so when you sign in it's going to have a percentage of the amount of challenges you've completed so because we didn't have a, we don't have an account so it can't kind of save the challenge so when you go to the platform you can create an account and try to take all the challenges so i highly recommend this platform and they also have a youtube channel where they explain a lot of topics on web development so before i go i would like to add a bonus to this list because i found a platform called reading so when you go to this platform they have a list of free online courses so and it's something i feel is going to be helpful to some of you out there they have resources on front-end technologies like javascript html and css of course and also they cover the command line on topics such as github terminal unix and also they have topics on node.js and also python and flux and sql so definitely they have resources i think will be helpful to you guys out there so check them out i think they also have a paid version that's if you want to learn full time so if you are impressed with the platform you can decide to check out the curriculum check out the tuition the admission and the whole process so that will do for me thank you very much for watching do well to like and subscribe to the video to encourage me to create more videos that would help you so thank you very much and i will see you next time